it's Samantha and today I'm going to try to film quite a few videos. Today's video is a Carter's haul. Olivia is currently wearing 12 month outfits and she's starting to grow out of some of the smallest 12 month outfits lengthwise. So any of the onesies, they're just getting a little too tight when I'm trying to snap them. Sometimes the head hole is a little too snug and also the pants are getting very short on her legs. So I did a little bit of Christmas shopping while Carter's had some really good sales going on. I was kind of keeping up with their sales. They just kept getting better and better. And so I finally bought things when they were doing 60% off of Christmas stuff, tons of clearance stuff, and they had, I don't know, like a 30 or 25% off coupon and free shipping. So I just got a bunch of stuff. Actually, I think it was 25% off now that I think about it. Um, so I just got a bunch of stuff. The problem with Olivia sizing wise is the 12 month pants are getting too short, but they still slide off of her. So if she's wearing the regular 12 month pants, they're way too short on her and then they'll just slide down if she's crawling around and block her feet and fall off her booty most of the way. And so they're just not fitting. So my solution for this was buying leggings. And of course the 12 month leggings are way, way too short, but the 18 month leggings are good. There's a little bit of slouch in them so that she can grow into them a little bit more, but they fit really nicely around her waist. Um, they're still not tight by any means, but they just don't slide down, which is what I need at this point. So hopefully there's room to grow in those. They do have room that if she gets, you know, rounder, um, they'll still fit on her. Our winter's really harsh here, so we definitely need her pants to be long enough this time of year. So yeah, with all that said, I got a bunch of clothes and also some toys. They'll be for her Christmas. So we're doing Christmas pictures this weekend, and so I wanted to have a couple of Christmas things to put her in. So I got this onesie. It just says Santa's Girl. I did get the 18 month size for that. I will have her wear that around Christmas too, so I wanted to make sure it would fit. And then I also got her a set of Christmas pajamas. So this one says Merry and Bright, and they did have one that kind of matched this one that was a um, tutu pants set. This one's a three-piece set, so it's got the shirt, some red striped pants, and then also the tutu. And I thought we would use some of those for Christmas photos coming up. So the next thing I got was a pack of socks and I got the slip proof kind. The six to 12 month socks just do not fit her very well. And so we went ahead and got these um, 12 to 24 months. They do look quite a bit bigger than the other ones, but I think it'll be a good thing. She can grow into them. So the next thing I got was actually a two pack of pants and these are regular pants, but they have a gusset at the bottom. So I thought these ones would stay on a lot better than regular pants. And so I thought I could layer these with the leggings if we need her to be extra warm. There's a blue pair and a light pink pair in that pack. And then I got a few pairs of individual leggings, like I said, 18 month size. Hopefully these will be able to last her a while. We've got some polka dots. These ones have silver glitter polka dots on them. And then there is a pink polka dot pair, which I think is really cute. And then this one is a lot brighter than I expected it to be. Neon pink hearts. <laughs> so cute. And then the last one I thought was really cute. Nice and subtle. Um, these are gray striped, but they have a shimmer to them. Which I think is really cute. So that is all I got for clothes. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you've seen I had two haul videos of clothes. So she's got tons of clothes, but she really needed some leggings. I just know the 18 month pants are not gonna work with her. The 12 months ones don't even stay up at this point. So the leggings are gonna be our lifesaver. So moving on from that, I've got three toys. Um, the toys were marked pretty cheaply. I think they were 50% off and then a 25% coupon. So they were all really cheap. I ended up getting this chunky puzzle. It's just a C puzzle and she really likes wood toys. So I thought this one would be a nice one. It's just a Melissa and Doug. I love Melissa and Doug brand stuff. It just seems to be really nice quality, nice, nicely made, pretty colors. And then this one is a Safari rescue truck. The little shapes fit inside the little spots and then it's got the two people up front and it actually will like wheel around. She has been really interested in wheels lately. And also, like I said, she just loves the wooden th shapes. So she could probably chew on these or bang them together, bang them on other things. She'll really like that even before she can actually sort the shapes. 
This one has been on her Christmas wish list and I actually have picked it up at Target already, but I saved like $5 returning the Target one and getting this one. So I did, I went ahead and did that. I don't usually do things like that, but it's like, it's so much cheaper. We always go to Target anyway. So it's not like I'm going out of my way to return it, but I saved five bucks getting it from Carter's. And then the last toy I got was another impulse toy. The puzzle was an impulse toy. This one is a wooden stacking train. You can see that. So it's got the little pegs and all the shapes fit on the train. And like I said, she loves wheel toys. So I think she'll really like this one. I just think she'll play with the blocks at this point. I don't think she's going to stack them back, especially not stack them correctly. Like this train, you know, has to be stacked just right to look like a train, but she will just love playing with the pieces and, um, and probably messing with the wheels and trying to figure them out. So I'm really excited for these toys. They'll just go into her Christmas stash and then go into her toy rotation. I'm really excited for her to play around with these. I can just imagine her wheeling these and the safari truck around our wood floor and having a blast with it when she's a little bit older. I think I spent about $80, which I don't think is bad. For as much stuff as I got, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're good on clothes for quite a while until she sizes up again. I forgot to mention the other day I did order from Carter's when they were doing free shipping on any order and they had fleece uh, footy pajamas on sale. So I got her a couple of those because she's been in the fleece footy pajamas and she's sizing out of some of the 12 month ones. And that is it for this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like baby hauls and I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.